Welcome back guys. I know it's been a while since I last posted a video. A lot of things happened this year. One of them is I started training Moato Glue Tennis Academy where I did a lot of changes in my game which brought me really good results. I managed to get to three finals in singles and to win my first uh, futures in uh, South Africa just recently. Also in doubles I got to three other finals and won two titles as well. It made my ranking shoot up to 585 in singles and in doubles right now. I'm currently ranked 420, 420 something. Uh, all this, of course, wouldn't be possible without my agent, Ivalo Krachunov, and my sponsors. It just makes a huge difference when you have a team that supports you and that believes in you. And that only makes me hungry for more results. Now, I'm also working now with Hydrogen North America. They're providing me with their high quality clothes and I'm extremely happy for it because ever since this brand came out I've been a fan of their unique designs and just the brand itself is just so cool because it's a skull so I, I love skulls they're sick right now they're actually having their biggest sales of the year so I will put a link to their website in the description down below so you guys can go check them out and take advantage of the insane deals they offer um, if you're watching this video after the sales, no worries, because I will give you now a code, which is going to be OL15. So you'll get a 15% discount on all of their uh, products they sell. So that's sick. I got you. No worries. Also, if you live in North America and are looking for a sponsorship, it's very difficult to get one from them. But if you're a good player or you have a big following on social media, they do offer packages and also they have cool collaboration opportunities. So I'll put their contact info in the description as well for you to uh, contact them. Now this video is going to be about the Davis Cup where I just recently played and it was an unbelievable experience which I can't wait to share with you. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. We are now in Sofia International Airport, going to Doha, Qatar. The flight will take like four hours and a half, then we have like seven hours there. Stay. Stay in Doha and then we have ten hours and a half flight to Cape Town. So, so it's like 24 hours trip. So is that why you're wearing flip-flops? Yeah, that's why I'm wearing my flip-flops. My customized socks. Customized socks. Check it out. It says Miko with my favorite number, which is number eight. Awesome. Hello, people. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, people. Hey, people. I think I want to watch a movie because I have we have three and a half hours to go so that's like at least two movies there yeah that's what I'm gonna do Time to leave. Time to head to the gate. Oh, I'm so tired. We're all gonna sleep in the plane. Oh, no. 
reaching his career high ranking of 82nd in the world even went up against the GOAT Roger Federer in the first round of Wimbledon taking the first set six games to three. Roger went on to claim the next three sets 6-1, 6-2, 6-2. Ruan Rolos, playing second in singles for the team, the 29-year-old reached his career high ranking in 2011, getting to the 375th spot in the world. Alongside the singles, Ruan has exceptional results in doubles, getting to 112 in the ATP doubles ranking, while capturing 43 titles. Raven Claussen, the double specialist, aged 37 years young, stopped his singles career to pursue playing in doubles and is now ranked 7 in the world, capturing 16 ATP titles along his way. Philip Henning, the last man on the team, also the youngest, had a very good run in the ITF Juniors, finishing 35th in the world. After his juniors career ended, Philip went on to play college tennis in the States for the Bulldogs for the University of Georgia. Enter the Davis Cup uh, this year, including South Africa and Bulgaria. To the birthplace of South African wine industry as the country's oldest wine producing estate, Kirk Constantia is here to start and the Living Museum. The big day was finally here, and it was a parade, which I myself didn't mind joining. We were informed that all the seats were sold out, and the only thing standing before the start of the tie was a presentation of both teams followed by their national anthems. First racket, Boyd Harris. The South African took the lead early and stayed rock solid from the baseline, making very few mistakes to take the first set 6 4. The match went to distance when Alex raised his level, putting Lloyd under pressure with aggressive ground strokes, claiming the second set 7 5.
After close to three hours of play, the South African closed the match 6-4, 5-7, 6-3 to give his country its first victory. Dimitar Kuzminov against the second racket Ron Roloffs was the match that followed. Having no room for mistakes, Miku stayed patient, secured the first set 7-5 and went up a break in the second. Ron kept holding his serve and applying a lot of pressure with his forehand. But despite the South Africans' efforts, Miko held his ground to even out the tie, taking the match 7-5-7-5. An emotional win due to his severe knee injury preventing him to compete throughout most of this year. The next day I made my debut in doubles playing with Lazarov. We gave it all but unfortunately couldn't handle the opposing experienced duo Klaassen and Roloffs. We fell not so heroically and very quickly with a score of 6-3-6-2. The match that was going to decide our faith was a clash between both nations' first rackets. Miku threw everything he could to try to crack the South African. Top 100 player just wouldn't give in and destroyed our hopes winning the match 6-3, 7-6, 7-3 in the tiebreaker. South Africa ended up beating us 4-1 but left us with unforgettable memories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank all the Bulgarians in South Africa that came out to support us during the Davis Cup and uh, showed us a wonderful time afterwards. You guys are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like bu button, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of this content, and I'll see you in the next one, which I will try not to make you wait seven months for it. So, until then, peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.